Hi everyone, today we'll be going over the golden ratio multiplier and how you can use this tool to improve your Bitcoin investing and analysis. This chart as well as many others are all freely available on lookintobitcoin.com, your number one source for Bitcoin information. If you haven't already, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications to ensure you're receiving all of our content as soon as it's released. So what is the golden ratio multiplier? Well, it's based on the 350 day moving average of BTC. So that is taking the previous 350 closing prices of Bitcoin and averaging that out so we can get this nice, smooth, moving average line of just under a year's price action. It is then multiplying this by a few different multiples to give us these multicolored lines that we can use for our Bitcoin investing and analysis as they have proven to be quite accurate throughout Bitcoin's history. So as we can see from the numbers up here of what we are actually multiplying the 350 day value for is the 1.6 which is actually the golden ratio number as well as this Fibonacci sequence numbers of 2, 3, 5, 8, 13 and 21. So if you weren't already aware Fibonacci sequence is a famous mathematical sequence where you add the previous number to the current one to find the next. So it starts at 1 which is just the standard 350 day moving average to the second so then we'd add 1, add 2 to get 3 two add three to get five, etc. And throughout Bitcoin's price history, we can actually see these have been incredible at forecasting potential tops for Bitcoin's price action during the later stages of the market cycle. So if we just look to begin with at the first three peaks we had in Bitcoin's price, we can see initially here at this peak in 2011, the 350 day moving average multiplied by 21. So not length of 21, but multiplying the value of the 350 day moving average by 21. It actually caught the exact top of price around here. So after that, in the next Bitcoin market cycle, we actually used the 13 multiplier of the 350 day moving average. And this again came very close to calling the exact top of that cycle. And then some people call it a double peak cycle. But after that, we moved down to the eight multiplier of the 350 day. And again, this called the top of price action. So if we just zoom out and look at the most recent two cycles of Bitcoin, we can see the 2017 top at around $20,000 that reached a multiple of five of the 350 day moving average. And in the most recent cycle, we reached a multiple of three. So if you haven't already noticed the pattern, it seems that every cycle we reach a lower Fibonacci multiple of the 350 day moving average. So we started with a multiple of 21 and then moved on to a multiple of 13, eight, five, and most recently a multiple of three. So what is causing Bitcoin to only reach a lower multiple of the 350 day moving average every cycle? Well, fortunately enough, we actually have the access to ask the creator of the indicator and actually the founder of Look Into Bitcoin and our lead analyst, Philip Swift, who is under the impression that as Bitcoin grows as an asset class and as our adoption increases, more users gain access to the asset class. The extreme volatility we saw in Bitcoin's early days will diminish over time as its market cap increases. So Philip's also under the impression that as we reach the final stages of the adoption phase, we could potentially once again hit the 350 day moving average that has been multiplied by a factor of two. And beyond that point, Bitcoin will have likely completed its adoption growth phase. And according to this indicator, a new growth phase will begin. Potentially after that, it will just surpass or reach the 1.6, the golden ratio multiplier of the 350 day moving average. But we'll have to wait and see. If we look to where the 350 day moving average multiplied by two is, which is this red line, it currently sits at around $88,000. But this is moving along with Bitcoin's price. So if we were to, for example, move back up, regain this 350 day moving average, and slowly start climbing back up in price, these moving averages would actually slowly turn back up and start increasing in value. As we approach these upper multiples of the 350 day moving average, consider profit taking. And as we dip beneath this 350 day moving average, the strategic investor may see that as a sign to potentially accumulate Bitcoin for the future. So just to summarize, the golden ratio multiplier uses multiples of the 350 day moving average. And that's the value of the 350 day moving average, not the length. The 350 day moving average is then multiplied by the golden ratio, which is 1.6, and the Fibonacci sequence from two up until 21. 
Each market cycle has seen price top at a lower multiple than the previous cycle. So with this most recent bull cycle where we topped out just above $60,000, we just slightly surpassed the moving average multiplied by three. So if we're going down in Fibonacci sequence, the next top may see us touch the 350 day moving average multiplied by two. This indicator can also map out the adoption and increase in market cap of the asset class. The diminishing volatility and returns along with the decreasing multipliers of the 350 day moving average are a very good indicator of how Bitcoin is maturing and adapting and evolving as an asset class. If you like this video, then please visit lookintobitcoin.com. We provide Bitcoin charts for free and alerts at an affordable price that can cost several thousands of dollars per year on other platforms. In some cases, the charts we show are simply not available anywhere else. The Godin ratio multiplier is often overlooked by other sites and on-chain analysts, but we will always be providing this chart for free on lookintobitcoin.com due to its forecasting powers for Bitcoin investors and analysts. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to learn about all our other charts and gain even more insights. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.